The TTA FM was designed with three types of customers in mind. The first customers are nanotechnology researchers that want to do routine scanning of nanostructures on surfaces. The second are instrument innovators that want to use an AFM as a starting platform to create a new type of instrument. And the third are educators that want to teach students about the application of AFM, the construction of AFMs, and the operation of AFMs. In today's demonstration, we're going to first show you the components of the TTAFM, and then we will show you a demonstration of the operation of the AFM and scan a sample. The first component is the e-box. At the front of the e-box are LEDs, which indicate the operation of the power supplies. Inside the e-box are high-fidelity analog control electronics, high-resolution 24-bit microcontrolled DAT converters for scanning. At the rear of the box are cables. One of the cables is a 50-pin cable that's used for accessing all of the signals for customized experiments. The second component is the video optical microscope. The video optical microscope is useful for three functions. The first function is locating the feature on the surface you'd like to image. The second function is aligning the light lever force sensor. And the third function is for doing tip approach. The image from the video optical microscope appears on the computer screen and is accompanied by image capture software, which allows you to store images measured of the cantilever or sample surface. At the base of the video optical microscope is an XY positioner, which allows you to move the optical microscope relative to the microscope stage. The third component is the atomic force microscope stage. The atomic force microscope stage is comprised of a few components. One is the high resolution direct drive Z motor translator. The second is the light lever force sensor. The third is the high resolution linearized piezoelectric scanner. And the final component is the XY sample positioner used for moving the sample relative to the probe. Inside the light lever, the probe is held with a module shown here. The probe is clipped in with a little micro clip. And exchange of the probe is very simple with the probe exchange tool provided with the instrument. Simply placing the module on the exchange mechanism and pushing down allows rapid exchange of probes. It takes less than about 15 seconds. 